Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to see what I am up to today. Today I want to share a little bit about the Elecraft KH1, point out where to get those nifty log pages, and do some impromptu street CW. If you order the KH Log 1 log tray or the Edgewood package with your new KH1, there are specific log pages that fit perfectly in and on the KH Log 1 log tray. This arrangement allows you to fill the log out as you go and change pages easily by taking the used page from the front and placing it behind the unused page all with one hand. Yes, Elecraft provides them in a way and no, they don't come in the box. Head on over to Elecraft.com. Find the support page or main page for the KH1. Somewhere in there you're going to find manuals and documentation and that's what holds the page you're looking for. Open the PDF, print the PDF via your chosen printer. In this case, I'm using the public printer for guests at the hotel I'm staying at. Then, like a kid in school, you're going to neatly cut out the pages on the lines and the dotted lines. Voila! Stuff them in the log tray and away you go. Using scissors, by the way, is a depreciating skill if you don't practice a lot. The KH-1 is a handheld CW multiband transceiver. On the bottom are two controls, VFO and volume. Each KH-1 comes with its own counterpoise. On the top of the unit with the built-in tuner, there's a BNC post for your own antenna, a binding post for that counterpoise, a switch to control the antenna post for a telescoping antenna, and on the side is the telescoping antenna. I didn't time my deployment, but it only takes a little while to get this going. Unwrap the counterpoise, stretch it out, open the cover, place the paddle of your choice. You don't have to use the one that comes from Elecraft. Stretch out the telescoping antenna and away you go. Now in this next clip, I'm gonna need you guys to forgive me. I hooked up the uh, KH-1 audio through my DJI mic and receiver. That hash you hear is the arrangement of my cables with my phone, not the KH-1. So be patient, be forgiving, and it'll give you a little practice hearing uh, CW through the noise.
There's an example of a CW operator who just wasn't going to give up that contact. So you heard the signal report. I was 229 and he kept trying. He kept, he, I was down in his noise with this five watts. If, if, if I've even got it turned up that high. And yes, you also caught, I screwed up that uh, West Virginia. So that contact was from West Virginia to Tennessee. And uh, you probably caught that pause before I sent my state. I almost sent North Carolina and I, I paused and then I hesitated and I got the V all wrong, but I was out there trying. If you made it this far, guys, thanks very much. And there'll be more on the KH1 and uh, different antics. And I appreciate you being patient and I appreciate you watching and I appreciate you staying a member of the channel. See you out there.